Minnesota Five Vikings traded back from 25 to 31, picked up uh, a couple extra day three sugar picks, and still got their guy, Jeff Gladney, El Jefe, cornerback out of TCU. Uh, I forgot this last night. I forgot that uh, Jeff Gladney turns 24 in December. I mean, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying. It's like, well, who cares about their age, bro? It's, it's just the draft. Well, it matters. It certainly does. So, like, Austin Jackson is 20. Jeff Gladney turns 24 this year, this season. So, I mean, it does matter. Like, he'll, uh, for example, like Jeff Gladney will be 29 the year after his rookie deal expires with the fifth year option. That do, do you think that matters just a little bit? Right. Also, for example, so Daniil Hunter is 22 months older than Gladney, and he's going into his sixth NFL season. Yeah. Oh, 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 here's the coup de grace. El Jefe, Gladney is 62 days older than Mike Hughes. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. He's a phenomenal player. He, he At times last year, he was a man playing among boys because he literally is a man playing amongst boys. But uh, I'm really fired up, excited for this pick. I think it meshes well with what Zimmer used to be able to do uh, when his cornerbacks were uh, elite meat-eating uh, type uh, corners. But hopefully he'll be able to get back to that. So uh, Gladney, 5'10", a buck 91 redshirt senior, a former three-star recruit from New Boston, Texas. I was a four-year starter with the Horned Frogs. Uh, 2018 Retro Jr. was the breakout year. Posted a 90.6 PFF grade. I uh, had a 45.0 passer rating when thrown at two picks, 12 passes broken up. Uh, he probably could have declared and been a first-round pick, uh, but you know maybe teams were still concerned about the size, but uh, he felt like he had unfinished business there in Fort Worth, came back. Uh, 2019 was solid. Uh, you know, First team, all Big 12, uh, bumping onions uh, with the likes of Denzel Mims and C.D. Lamb uh, in the Big Bad Big 12, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, combine, yeah, the fact that he ran a 4.48 and was disappointing, I mean, that does say a lot about his speed, and that speed shows up on tape. Like He is honestly just a human eraser down the field, and that that recovery speed is absolutely on 100. And also, I uh, haven't said that he ran like a 4.38 on campus before. So speed was never an issue with him. Uh, notably, though, so all, all this talk is like maybe he'll fit into the slot. And we talked about that a little bit last night. Like maybe in specific situations, ideally when you're blitzing him. But uh, I don't think he's necessarily he's going to come in and take over the slot uh, cornerback job from Hughes. Where three cone, pretty stiff. Not great at changing direction, which is somewhat important when you're a slot corner. Uh, so I, I don't see him kicking the slot full time. You know, compared to that to Mike Hughes' three cone, ooh, super silky, ready to go. I'm still super high on Mike Hughes. Don't you Jeronis give up on him. Yes, ACL. Yes, neck injury. But just remember how good he was coming in a training camp. I mean, come on. Come on, people. Uh, but Gladney, strong, feisty, mighty mouse, you know, squats 660 pounds, is just an absolute uh, you know, uh, beast of a stud in, in a small package. Alpha dog, not afraid to mix it up at the line of scrimmage. Chippy, Trey Wayne's level tackler, Mac Alexander level blitzer uh, coming off the edge. A great at pattern recognition, will jump routes, will gamble when he knows what's coming. You know, that's maturity, that is film work, that is confidence. All three of those together, uh, re- really nice um, uh, little package for a cornerback. Uh, and the thing I, I love, the thing about I love about him is the thing I love about Jalen Johnson. The thing about the thing I love about any cornerback is that they gamble. Like, yes, you, you'll get beat every now and then, but that's few and far between. Give me the chance to have the game-breaking play. You know, give me the chance always that you're going for the ball. Like, you don't want to break passes up. You want picks, right? So that that long recovery speed um, is also key to him because there will be times like find some Jalen. Um, uh, find some Jeff Gladney tape and you'll see him like actively just sit like sort of lay off a receiver and uh, dare the quarterback is like hey hey buddy it's there for you why don't you take it and then kicks it kicks it into an extra gear when the ball is in the air and it's just a lot of fun it's just really fun to watch it uh, does need to add size uh, so you do worry about uh, potential long-term dur- durability with how he plays you know the physical style that he brings to the table plus uh, it is nice that he does have av- uh, above average arm length uh, so it allows him to stick with bigger receivers even though he clocks in at five foot ten um, so dealing with Guys like Devontae Adams, Marvin Jones, um, Kenny Galladay, Baby Tron, as well as Allen Robinson in division twice a year. I mean, there are going to be some battles, you know, but since he does play a lot bigger than his size, and plus he is phenomenal down the field, I think this makes a lot of sense why the Vikings bring in a guy like Gladney or over a guy like, you know, potentially Fulton, over a guy like uh, Jalen Johnson, who I still would have loved, or at also even over a guy like Trevon Diggs. And uh, like I said, I think Hughes is still going to be the slot. 
You know, Gladney in 21 uh, will be starting in base and you know, probably bring in Holton Hill and then uh, in on nickel and then kick Hughes on the inside. I think that makes a lot of sense. It's sort of what they did with you know, Terrence Newman the first couple years uh, wh when Trey Waynes was in the mix where it was Rhodes and Newman starting on the outside, kick Newman inside uh, and nickel. Uh, and then – you also saw how Zimmer rotated cornerbacks last year, basically because he didn't have any choice, because he didn't trust any of them, as well as the last two years, uh, coinciding nicely with the, the decline and fall of Xavier Rhodes. They've been playing a lot more zone, especially in passing situations where, I mean, before it was man-on-man, -man, island on island best of luck to you back when peak Rhodes 2017. But now with, with Gladney, and hopefully you get Hughes back uh, to 100%. I think you're going to see a, a revert back to a lot more man coverage, uh, press man, off man, uh, especially in high leverage situations. Uh, and also, when you're able to do that, when you have confidence in your corners on the outside to lock down their man, you're going to be a lot more cocksure about sending heat. Like Zimmer will be able to back, uh, will be able to go back to like old school Zimmer, just completely uh, bringing that stank on third down, stink, bringing that stinky Limburger cheddar all the time, uh, and that, that's something that you couldn't do when you had 2018, 2019 uh, Rhodes and Wayne's out there. So uh, I, I'm really excited about this pick, even though he's a little bit older. It's like ageist. Yeah, uh, but I, again, I would have been excited at 25. The fact that you get him at 31 and you get extra picks, just absolutely amazing at, at a huge position of need. I uh, got one of the great cornerbacks in this class. Uh, but your thoughts, El Jefe, Jeff Gladney, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Pull us on the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull, production value.